I'm curious yeah. what are the limitations, if there are any, and is this something like a vibe Cody tool, which doesn't sound like it, or yeah, where are the limitations and what and, is the output that a designer can actually yeah. expect from it? And can I add to that, like, I, I'm curious, before the AI, before we started talking about generative AI, right? Because yeah. we always had AI in games. There are tools that we would have used that are similar to explore space that we would have called like procedural content generation, yeah. right? Like we could have procedurally generated yes. a bunch of yeah. things. So I, I'm wondering also like, how do you use both? And at what point is it the, a, the AI part that it, cause when I hear what Ramon is asking, like there's part of me that's like thinking, oh, one way a designer explores a space is you just procedurally generate a bunch and test it, Yeah. right? Yeah. And okay. so I'm curious how you would say the difference between that approach yeah. and the, yeah. like, it's got more, I don't intelligence or a model behind it in some other way. Yeah. Okay. All right. So several questions. So let's start with yeah. Ramon, your question. So how small is the sandbox that you can you can create have create new ideas? We impl there is a sandbox, but we made it very extensible. So I would say eighty percent. Sometimes sometimes when a designer has an idea like oh you can do eighty or ninety percent of it, but I would need this one piece of functionality. How we address that is that we have a tech engineer who will build that functionality to the engine, and after that you can configure it. But the sun, like the still, there's so many parameters of mixing different types of interactions of uh, dragging or swapping or tapping, and then how the puzzle engine configuration happens is that you don't you have just items we call them blocks like in a sort of puzzle game. You can configure all kinds of event systems if this happens to this one then something else happens how do they are they matchable are they destroyable are they this and that there's like long list of different kind of parameters so i would say that even with that sandbox it is actually you can do so many different kinds of games that nobody has seen yet but yes we made it also extensible if you really want to do something that is not yet added there like one one sort of bigger addition that we did half a, half a year ago we added physics so you can actually have like water or liquids or something and then play puzzle game whatever the mechanism is but then combine with physics ob objects like maybe there's a ball that you need to get these blocks away so that the ball can drop to a ball or whatever mm. that is so like combining the physics and combining these different parameters like it's a huge sandbox already gotcha 